Well, hello, Gemini. Welcome to your August reading. Um, we're going to do oracle cards to get the energy. And then we're going to go right into the tarot. Okay. So first I want to talk about what I saw when I was meditating. Um, <laughs> I saw a, I was going to say a looking glass. Who am I? Uh, <laughs> a uh, magnifying glass. Okay. So I, you f keen to detail. Okay. But anyway, student, humility and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning, equator and passion, happy success and release, appreciation, generations, and sun, love, compassion. Okay. This is going to be a deep one, Gemini. Okay. I just felt it. So, <laughs> August, um, you're learning how to do balance, um, balance in your life, in, in your life, like the aspect of life. Um, you're looking at past traumas and how you were raised. That's what this is. You appreciate your past. You appreciate your parents. You appreciate your family. You appreciate the memories. You appreciate the things that you've been through. You understand that they're there for a reason, for lessons and understanding and wisdom. Um, but also, you know that you can break free of that or change those, right? The experiences don't make who you are. You learn a lesson from them. And you choose the lesson from which you learn from them okay um because i see that you're happy you're happy with the way that you're moving forward you're happy with the way that your life is going and it's like life would be happier if you would release some of these qualities from your life whether this is past trauma karma ideas feelings about things or people uh and releasing people or, you know, like trying to be Captain save a ho excuse me, <laughs> for anybody in your, your life. So the whole idea for you is happiness, new beginnings, love, compassion, clean, clean energy is what I'm seeing. Like just clean passion, clean love, clean care clean happiness just clean no stipulations that's the goal for you okay that's what I see you wanting and you're learning more about yourself and how you interact with others in your environment and how you can make that dream a reality for yourself okay let's get into your tarot <laughs> The lovers, beautiful. Yeah. Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Cups, The Hermit, Seven of Swords, Hangman. Okay. So let's talk about the overall energy. Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Princess of Discs. Yeah, you're definitely looking to make some lasting changes for sure. Um, you're going to make some lasting changes. That's what I see. It's like you see an opportunity um, to do it, and you're doing it. You know, no holding back, no excuses. 
It's about your happiness. It's what I'm seeing for you. The major arcana that pops up on this table, Gemini, we have the lovers, the will of fortune, the hermit, and the hangman. And these are heavy ones with the ace of wands. Um, so honestly, all this tells me that you are in, you're in line with change. <laughs> you're ready. You want it. You want a new beginning. You want to, you're inspired and you're driven, you know? Um, you've definitely thought about this for quite some time. You're very smart as well. And I see you using your wits to kind of like step out of or separate yourself from things wisely. Okay. You know what's funny? I see you making promises like, oh, I'll do that. You don't really want to, but you're like, oh, I'll do it. And then you just don't do it. <laughs> like you just, like they ask you again, like, are you going to come and do this? And you're like, oh yeah, I got this thing I need to do. You know, I feel like you're being not passive aggressive in a bad way, but in a way to make things smooth, like a smooth transition. Okay. But anywho. Um, hmm. Okay, so in the past, I feel like there were problems in a relationship of yours. Um, this could be a family situation too, because I'm feeling both. Um, like there was a problem and it was almost like somebody wasn't seeing your point of view or seeing your perspective on things, like only seeing theirs. Um, and you didn't feel, you didn't feel like you were receiving the love that you were giving. Okay. Um, I don't want to say used, but I want to say like not appreciated. And for some reason, you either know your worth now, okay, or you have been appreciated. <laughs> and you're like, I know what that feels like. And I'm not going to go anywhere other than that direction. Um, so you're speaking your mind. If something feels wrong, you're saying what you want. You're not just trying to be nice, you know? Okay. I see lots of change. You're doing things differently. You're trying new things. Um... It's very interesting. It's like if you don't know or you've never done it before or you're not sure, you're going to try it to find out. It's like you're open in August to the mysteries of life. You're like, how do I know I don't like something if I don't try? How do I know that this is not a thing like stepping my boundaries if I don't feel it, like if I don't try? You know, there, there's something about piece of hair is in my eye <laughs> it's something about you wanting to try new things to see if you don't like it instead of saying that you don't like it um and you're gonna find some things that work and some things that don't okay but it's it's about just trying to see For some of you, there's somebody that has their eye on your relationship if you're in one. Very interesting. Um, it's like they're searching you on social media or it's like they're deep diving into your relationship. Why, though? Mm. It's like a person wants to see that you're faking being happy because they are not happy. 
and it'll give them strength to be like, oh, they don't, you know, there's something going on here, you know. Um, there may be someone in your life, too, that likes to, this is pulling, okay. Somebody that likes to abuse um, psychology terms. Um, like, you know, that we all have a person or knew a person in our life that calls everybody a narcissist or, you know, like something like that. Or they'd be like, are you bipolar? Or they seem to be a little schizophrenic or, you know, like <laughs> just because they can, or they, you know, they know the terms or they went down a rabbit hole on TikTok or something. Um, that's what it feels like. It feels like someone is trying to emotionally discourage you is the energy um, to either make you sad or break up some or separate from your beliefs, something of that nature. And <laughs> if you take a step back for a second, you'll be able to see it. Like it, it'll be obvious to you because you'll be like, mm, that, this is weird, you know? Because I don't feel this way. Why are they saying that? It's just a doubt. It's like a doubt. A drop of doubt in a bucket, you know? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it, I get this vibe that you're saying okay to someone just to get them to shut up. <laughs> like, you don't believe it. You're just like, okay, that's yeah really you think so and they're like to to someone you know <laughs> like you just aren't believing them but you're letting someone talk it's almost like you're letting someone talk themselves into a hole and the more they talk the more you you're seeing the truth very specific gemini Okay. Yeah, you do have the understanding that you can't do life alone. So um, in August, it's like you want people around you that mesh well with you or that go well with you and people that you can trust, you know, that you can't go at it alone. So you need a good support system. And it's like, you understand the type of people you need around you to be able to have that. You understand that you have that wisdom and you know, the people that don't need to be there. So the people that aren't working or the situations that aren't working for you, you're separating yourself from those. But it's interesting because for some of you, these are people that once made you happy, but it's like that's that's gone and you can't bring that back. And you're you're kind of understanding that, like the things that you can't bring back from the past, the people, the feelings that you can't bring back, you're understanding like what fits now, what doesn't in your life you're definitely <laughs> things that worry you or give you anxiety or pushing out of your life for sure you're making that decision to make that happen like you're not going to go through life like this anymore it's like they're using a or these situations are using up space that you can use for something else, for something else that's helpful, for something that you like to do. Um, and that's what you're going to do. <laughs> Trying new things, experimenting. Um, yeah, <laughs> with, with new things. It feels like a lot of people or maybe somebody has a lot to say about what it is that you're doing, but it has no 
foundation. They're just talking. This feels like a person that just talks a lot. (laughs) They have a lot to say. But I get the vibe that they don't like for you to say anything about them. Okay. Um, Yeah, especially with the Four of Cups. It's like they don't... (laughs) They speak their feelings, but they don't understand other people's. Like they say they do probably, but they don't take it in. Don't take this person's advice. They're just talking. And I feel like you know this person's talking, but you might have to remind yourself every now and then that they're just talking. Use your own truth as a guide in August. Okay. Like I said, you're going to be trying a lot of new things, Gemini. Figuring out what you like, what you don't like. Uh, What spiritually makes sense to you? What doesn't? Um, I feel like you're navigating like the mysteries of life, the mysteries of who you are, the mysteries of what you like and what you don't like uh, outside of the confines of what you do know already. I see you being uh, emotionally, a lot emotionally satisfied. It's that feeling of like, I took my life back. And I'm happy with that. That's beautiful for you. So, yeah. Um, If something happened to you in July that didn't seem fair, like someone was lying to you and you found out, or someone was cunning, um, yeah, that's changing. This person is getting their karma for sure, okay? This person is getting their karma. So it's almost like somebody wanted to either take something from you or have something that you have, and they're getting their karma for that. So you don't have to worry. Yeah. It's like the the higher power has that under control. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, just know that... That karma is coming back around. So like this person has got all this talking to do or have all these suggestions about how you live your life. It's coming back around to hit them with a one-two punch, okay? But they're trying to... It almost feels like they're trying to gain control by gaining control of you. You know, of anyone, you know? Interesting, right? But... (laughs) Okay, let's dig in some more Gemini. First things first, I didn't even finish putting these cards out, but first things first. First things first, Gemini, while I'm still putting these cards out. Have a keen eye um, about people in your life, okay? Like about what people are saying to you, about what you're seeing on social media, about what you're taking in as fact, okay? Have a keen eye for that in August, that's that's the first thing that I see. It's like you need to use your own truth for that. Okay? Your own knowledge and your own wisdom and believing other people and believing situations. Um it's like it feels like there's there's always something in what's happening in August, okay? Um like there's a reason Like, if a person comes to you and they're like, I think your partner is cheating. And you're like, why would they say that? Like, what makes them think that? Um, It could be because their partner cheated on them. You know, like, and they have trauma with it. It's, it feels like somebody's own shadows 
are coming out of their mouth into you and you need to use your own discernment. Okay. <laughs> um, move forward with love, self-love, take care of yourself. Um, remember to care and appreciate and have compassion for the people that you do love. Um, interesting. Uh, you may have to like walk away from someone you care about, like take a break from them or emotionally distance yourself. And I feel like eventually they will miss you and come back. Okay. Uh, and not now, but they will. It's like they need time to think. And it could be that you, well, it could be, it is. You also need time to think. You also need time to separate. You need this moment to experience like happiness as how you view it, Gemini. Let's go money and career and then we'll go into interpersonal, like romantic love, heart stuff. You've made some sort of work decision and you're worried about how it's going to turn out. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody doesn't love it. But I feel like it's fine. Um, it almost feels like to me you need to go back to the drawing board. Yeah, you need to make some changes and go back to the drawing board. But don't think of it as, oh, I'm a failure. Think of it as I just need to reorganize it. Yeah, I don't get failure vibes. Okay. So you're going to have to separate from someone. I feel like this feels much like family member or friend, not like a lover. Um, and it's sad. But I feel like you have to do it because you don't have control. I hate to say control. You don't have balance I'm gonna say balance in this relationship it's not equally yoked this friendship this family relationship and it's like you have to take control or take the power to pause it or push it back for a minute um for not only you to get a break but for you to get like a peace of mind and for them to also get a perspective the thing is um I don't think that they're going to see it right off the back I almost get this vibe like they're gonna play they're gonna play a victim um but it's up to them to have the it feels like this person is going through one of those spiritual awakenings where they need to come to grips with something and really it's up to them if they do it or not. So the timeline is on them, but you, it's like the, your spirit guides want you to step out of this while they do that. You don't need to be in the situation while that's happening, you know? Okay. Bittersweet. Yeah. Sometimes when you speak your truth, it leaves a bitter taste in other people's mouths. Sometimes it leaves you in an uncomfortable situation where you don't want to do it, but you have to. It needs to be done. Okay, so that's what that is. Despondence. This feels like being in a relationship or a connection with someone. This feels more like family, friend, like I said. And you going through the motions, but not feeling the connection, not having the respect, not having the boundaries. It's like something's missing here, right? You feel it in your heart. So it's like, you know, it's time to take the, see, rejection. You're separating yourself because you care, because you love them, because you want better. Uh, and hopefully they can see it as that. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Okay. 
All right, Gemini. Thank you for being here. I love you. See you next month.